Macarena. I we're starting songs again today. <laughs> On Friday, May the 24th. <sighs> so I had to say shit to Sean about because uh, he was telling me like what time he was going to be here tonight. Because um, he's spending the night. In case you hadn't heard, um, for before our adventure tomorrow, um, we're going to leave out. Marilee's going to be here to pick us up at like. 8.30, so I told him 7. Um, <laughs> he might be ready by 8.30. I guess we'll see. Um, um, but I, I, I told him, I was like, oh, I should be done with the city about 1. I was like, well, at the latest, 3 o'clock, but fuck that. No. I ended up staying until 3. And <clears throat> uh, we were trying to get, like, weeds pulled by in the in the rock gardens by the pool, because the pool opens Monday for Memorial Day. Um, I guess the guy in charge thought it was open Saturday, like opening day was Saturday. Uh, it's not. It's Monday. So I guess there's still time for somebody to pull some weeds. I don't know. Because that's, uh, you know, I, I, I was trying to uh, help the one guy that was over there doing it. Because um, the other two, I don't think they, they knew that's what we were doing. They were on some other task. And then I think they went home. <laughs> so, so I was like, well, I didn't want to leave this guy out there to, you know, pull the weeds by himself. So <clears throat> I was actually getting ready to go pull the weeds on the outside because I knew from doing the weed eating the other day that there was some pretty heavy, some pretty, you know, I guess you can just say it's like local foliage. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> there were some monsters in the rock garden on the outside of the fence. Um, and that's what I was getting ready to go do. But then uh, one of the, the girls working in the pool, she was like, uh, hey, she's like, since you guys are here, can you help us get the, get the, the tarps or whatever over the, over the cabanas or, you know, the, the sunscreens up, whatever they're called. So we ended up, we ended up doing that instead. <laughs> cause I, you know, I was, I was staying late to try to get the weeds pulled cause that was our task, what we were doing. But, um. But she was, uh, she had, she had, I, the heft, I don't know if that's the right word. I use that word a lot for people who are like strong, er, you know, she had heft, but she was short. So like, she couldn't like reach very well to pull the things. Um, or she, you know, she was having trouble. Cause I mean, she was pulling that fucking tart left, right and sideways, you know, like she didn't have any problems doing that. <coughs> it was sometimes like the reach. But since she had a couple of tall people to help her, of course, I just kind of stood around and waited to be told what to do. Because I, I didn't, I'd never dealt with, of course, Peter never dealt with them before either. But he just goes, do, 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 up the ladder. And I'm like, I don't, I don't go, do, 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 up the ladder. I go like, do, 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 maybe. Like, <laughs> and then when I'm up there, I'm like, like, you know, just being very careful. Um, so, but I stay till three. So that's, I mean, two extra hours of pay. Oh, well, you know, get paid for it. That's cool. Um, and uh, I'm glad I came across, okay, pizza slut. That's not anything important. Um, um, I came across a post that I made on Facebook. And I was going to forget to tell you guys a story today. Uh, so I'm glad I came across that picture that I posted. Um, <clears throat> Because when we we did the trash this morning, we did the trash run, and uh, when we got up to where the dumpster is to put, you know, dump the truck into, there was this big-ass turtle up there, and, uh, uh, you know, Peter couldn't tell where he was, so I just jumped out of the truck, and, uh, why am I on Facebook? What am I doing? I'm in the wrong thing. Um, so I went to pick him up and, you know, move him so that this big, uh, heavy trash truck didn't crush him, you know? And the fucker, I did not know turtles could do this. He fucking projectile pissed. Uh, like, I was like, what the fuck is this? Just all like the goddamn exorcist out his asshole. I'm like, what the fuck is this? So I kind of like dropped him. <laughs> Cause I wasn't, I wasn't prepared. He has a shell. He's fine. I'm sure. Um, <clears throat> But I was, I was kind of, I was lucky because I was kind of standing to the side. Um, because, you know, you never know with turtles. Sometimes they can be mean and vicious. And that's what I was, I was like, please don't, I was like, please don't bite me. Please don't bite me. Because some of them, you know, like they'll just turn around and go, ah, ah, or whatever. Like they'll turn their little heads around. Like the fucking exorcist. Turtles are the goddamn fucking devil, apparently. Um, 
like, <laughs> you know, and they'll nip at you or whatever. So I was worried about that until, like, this flood came out the back end of him. <sighs> when I picked him up, he still had more in there. He had more in there. And I'm like, what the fuck? Because he pissed on me. He tried to piss on me twice. It actually almost looks like angel wings. That was probably the first time. And that was probably the second time. Oh my, I learned something today. Let me tell you, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh man. I, I learned that turtles are the fucking devil. Oh, man, oh man. That's, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I'm pushing the wrong button thing again. Um, but, yes, so, I'm glad I came across that, so that I didn't forget to tell you the story. But, um, yes, I have a couple hours until Sean is here. Uh, I think he said he'd be here around 6.30 or 7, so maybe 8.30 <laughs> p.m. Uh, so I had myself some, some, uh, um, some pretzels to hold me over. I might eat a little bit more because uh, he wants to go out and maybe go somewhere and eat when he gets to town. So, but that's a couple hours from now, and I was kind of a little bit hungry now. So, I did that, and I'll do a question. Why not? Since I'm here, if tomorrow never comes, what would be your biggest regret? I mean, I now know that turtles can projectile piss, so uh, I feel like life's complete. I don't know. What would be my biggest regret? If the world, if the world ended tomorrow, I wouldn't have to go to work, and I wouldn't be in debt anymore. <laughs> you, show me where the downside is. I'm seeing silver linings, like the whole cloud's silver. Um, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, explain to me where you're, where you're seeing, um, uh, uh, there again, I mean, we've had, we've had this conversation before about how I don't really do much, you know, I don't, I don't live much life, I pretty much just kind of exist, like, I go to work, I, I come home, I pay bills, I sleep, I shit, I shower, I, like, it's like, I eat, like, I guess tomorrow, if the world ended tomorrow, it depends on what time, because my biggest regret would be that I didn't get a chance to, uh, see the Pythian castle one last time, or I, or well, not one last time, uh, because I've never been to the Pythian castle or Pythian castle. I'm going to find out how to pronounce it tomorrow when we go to our ghost tour. Um, <laughs> but if the world ended, because I, I think we're planning on doing lunch at Lambert's. So it depends on what time tomorrow, like this is, you know, like if, if the world ended before we got a chance to eat lunch, I would regret, regret not getting to eat at Lambert's one last time. Um, <clears throat> I don't have a serious answer to this question. I'm sorry. I'm dicking around. <laughs> like, I just, I don't... There's nothing that I really regret so much to say, I guess, that it's like... I mean, there's friends that I wish that I could reconcile with. Um... But, I mean, that's a two-way street, you know? Like, they've also got to want to reconcile with me. And if they don't, then, I mean, it's just, it's not going to happen anyway. So it doesn't really matter, you know? Uh, you know, we've talked about my online friend. And after 10 years, shit went down, you know? Um, and actually, uh, I mentioned um, Mark and Sarah the other day, because they're in my old Lambert's videos. Um, they because they used to be featured pretty heavily in my videos when we would go on these little adventures or whatever. Um, I don't know that I've ever actually talked about what went down with them. Uh, they are no longer Mark and Sarah, for one thing. Um, I don't really know exactly what happened, what went down, uh, who, something, what. I don't, I don't actually know what happened between them, but 
they were amicable for a short period of time, and then they weren't, or something. Because uh, the last time, uh, like, they had technically separated, but I, th I think we went to the the Renaissance Festival together. I think that might have been the last, uh, well, the, like, the last time, except for when I went this year with Sean. That might have been the last time that I was at the Renaissance Festival, was with Mark and Sarah. Um, and they kind of went their separate ways. They're both still around the area, but... Mark didn't really keep in touch. Um, <clears throat> he, like, unfriended everybody on Facebook. Uh, didn't really... Like, I reached out to him, and I was like, you know... You know, I was kind of... I, I, I said something about, you know, if you need to talk, you know where to find me. If you want to come to town, watch a movie, get a burger, and not talk, we can do that, too. Like, whatever, whatever you need, you know. And I never heard from him again. So it's like... I've, I've run into him a few times. He's been in the store. Um, he works for Hobby Lobby now. So uh, when I go into the Hobby Lobby in Sedalia, uh, sometimes I run into him and, you know, we chat and catch up a little bit or whatever. But it's like, there again, it's like, I don't know if he wants to hear from me. Like, I understand if he needed to, like, if it hurt too much to, like have the same friends as Sarah did, or maybe he just thought, I'll let Sarah have all the old friends and I'll go make new friends. You know, like maybe it was, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why he j just kind of dropped everybody, just kind of left everybody behind. Like I said, I understand if he needed a period of time to figure out his new normal, you know, his new reality, whatever, you know, if he's no longer Mark and Sarah moving on and staying in contact with all of us just hurt too much. Like, I understand that. I was just kind of hoping it wouldn't be forever. <laughs> and so far, <clears throat> so far it's been forever. I mean, we haven't, I mean, since we did the, the you know, uh, you know, since we did the, um, what did I just say? Renaissance Festival. I haven't I haven't hung out with him since. Like I we you know, like I said, if if I run into him randomly in the store, and sometimes he's in a hurry, so it's kind of like, you know, so he he just kind of like walks on by. We basically just kind of say hi, how's it going? Oh, good, good. You know, all right, see you later. Like, you know, I, I don't know if he wants to talk to me. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like that's what I'm saying. Like I don't know. I don't know. You know, like I mean, I, if I mean, if he wants to call me tomorrow and be like, "Hey, let's go get a, you know, let's go get a burger or something," and I'll be like, "Yeah, sure, cool, let's let's do it." You know, like I mean, there's there's no ill feeling, ill will there f for me. It's kind of like I mean, I don't understand why I was left behind in some ways, you know. But that's what I'm saying. It's like it's not really. I mean, I guess maybe I'm kind of being a shitty friend because I'm not reaching out either. Like, to say, like, hey, I, I did, like I said, that one that one last time, I was like, hey, if you need to talk, you know where to find me, I'm always here, you know, like I said, if you want to go get a burger, watch a movie, not talk, we can do that too, whatever you need, whatever you want, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, and, like, I hate that kind of, like, uh, his, I, I know his mom died, um, and I wasn't there for him during that, but it's like, I was like, should I reach out? I just, I don't know, like, would reaching out to him just upset him further? Like, I don't want to cause him undue, you know, stress, anger, whatever, like, I mean, I wanted to, I wanted to, like, maybe send a card or something, or, you know, like, I was like, I didn't, but I don't know if he, if it would just upset him further than, I mean, his, you know, his mom died, like, it's kind of like, already going through enough, I don't want to make it worse, you know, like, I don't know, I don't know, but like I said, like, I'm always here, if he, like, I, I don't know if he still has my number, I mean, he, he knows where to find me, <sighs> for the last 17 years, I know where to find me, you know, <laughs> like, if you don't have my number anymore, you know where you can find me, like, five days a week, you know, <laughs> technically six days a week, because I work overnights, but, you know, like, if, if you want to, like, be like, hey, Let's go do something, you know? Sure, let's go do something. Let's go do something. But that, that kind of has to come from his end. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, it's, I'm just kind of in a holding pattern, just waiting to see if he's ever going to talk to me again. <laughs> I don't know. You know, so that's what I'm saying. It's kind of like, I mean, 
I mean, I, I don't really feel like that's a regret on me, you know? Like, um, I mean, like I said, I wish with my, my internet friend I had handled things differently and just, I guess, hurt her with the truth up front when I realized, you know, um, the issue was not going to be ignored. Uh, <laughs> I should have just been up front and been like, sorry, this is not happening kind of thing, you know. I should have done that, you know, I guess. I didn't realize it was going to implode the way that it imploded, but, you know, I guess. <clears throat> I don't know. So, I mean, I guess there's, there's some regret there. Some, but, I mean, I also feel like that person could have been a little bit more understanding in certain situations. Like, I mean, I'm sorry I forgot your birthday, but I don't, re like, I don't remember anybody's birthday. Like, it was my niece Kaylee's birthday the other day, and the only reason I know is because Facebook told me. <laughs> I was like, oh, I should probably send her a message or something since it's her birthday. Like, and I, you know, I, that was, that, that happened to be the year if I had been home, of course, sometimes people take their birthday off Facebook and you don't know, you know, I, I, I had a friend, uh, get upset because no one, you know, thought of him on his birthday. Nobody, nobody wished me a happy birthday, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Well, you took it off Facebook. I guess if it, I guess if you're important enough, we'll know that that's not the case. I like, <laughs> that's not the case. I would not remember my own mother's birthday if we didn't go on a trip for it every year. I'd be like, October something? I don't As long as I have a gift by October, I'm good. You know? Like, <laughs> so that's not necessarily true, you know? But yeah, he, he, yeah, he made this post about, you know, like, being upset because people missed his birthday. It was like, you didn't leave a reminder for people to wish you a happy birthday either, so sorry, but like... <laughs> I mean, I don't mean to sound like a dick about it, but it's like, you're not special. Like, I don't remember anybody's birthday. You know, it doesn't mean you don't matter to me. It doesn't mean I don't care about you. It's just, sorry, I just, I just don't. Some of my friends, I don't even remember their kids' names. I'm like, oh, shit, fucking shit, fuck. But I mean, usually I don't, I don't, you know, interact with them very much, so... <laughs> So knowing their kids' names, even, like, people that I've known since first grade and fourth grade, my two lifelong good best friends, um, I don't remember their kids' names either, but it's like, I... <laughs> but I don't, I don't interact with them very much either. It's not like I'm, you know, like, oh, Uncle Jason's here or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> they know of me, I think, maybe. But I don't even know if it's, some of them haven't even like, especially Robert's kids. I don't believe have ever seen uh, Alyssa's seen me in person, but I don't think she had any idea who I was. And she was a kid. and We were at Fritz's. It was the railroad train restaurant. Uh, if I remember, I will try to link that video below. I think I linked that one recently. Maybe it's the one. Uh, I think it's. I think it's the whole video. The. The Fritzes going to Crown Center kind of thing, because my friend Corey like blew the air the air uh, air cannon at Katie. <laughs> oh, that's one of my favorite clips ever. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, it's like so. I, I mean, you know, they might not know my name either. For all I know, and it's like that's fine. I understand. I'm not like a regular presence in your life, so you know. You not remembering my name isn't, doesn't hurt my feelings. Like, I get it. I understand. You know. You know. So, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I guess understanding is a two-way street. And it's like, I'm sorry I forgot your birthday. But, I, like, I wasn't at home. That, was the, that happened to be the year that I was in Eureka Springs. Uh, cause we were, it was supposed to be Kelsey and Kavian's wedding, but it wasn't. Um, they, they canceled it because it was like a hot spot for COVID at the time and they didn't want to get their baby sick. So 
you know, but Mary Lee and I, we already had the days off. We had the hotel booked. We're like, we're going. She, uh, Mary Lee actually grew up in Arkansas, but she'd never been to Eureka Springs before. So she was kind of excited to go see it and experience it, you know. So we're like, fuck it, we're going. <laughs> We've already paid the money, so <laughs> we'll take a little weekend trip, a little weekend adventure, kind of like we're doing this weekend, you know, to Springfield. So, life's an adventure, you know. Um, so, I don't necessarily know that... I mean, I, I wish these people would reach out to me and we could reconcile, you know, I guess, in some ways. But it's like, I mean, if we never do... I mean, I guess I'm cool with that, too, because it's just like, I don't know if they want to hear from me or if they want to talk to me ever again. So it's like, I mean, if they don't want to, then I mean, I guess, you know, why press the issue, I guess, you know, like, <clears throat> I don't know. I guess I, I could say that, I, you know, depending on what time tomorrow it ends. I don't, it's because Mary Lee was talking about doing Bucky's for dinner, because apparently they have like a meat counter there, and <clears throat> I don't know, Bucky's sounds fucking wackadoodle. Uh, I know, just a ridiculous place where you can get like fucking anything almost, I guess. I don't know, I'm gonna find out, I guess. Oh, <sighs> shit. So, I can't really think of anything that I regret. Or, you know, if I were to, if the world were to end tomorrow, if I were to die tomorrow, um, I guess, I guess the world ending is different than if I die. Because if the world ends, everyone's gone. You know, <laughs> like, there's no one left behind to miss me if there's like some kind of accident or something. Yeah, I shouldn't speak, I shouldn't speak that into the universe. <laughs> Getting ready to travel. <laughs> It's just a couple hours away, but, you know, they say, like, accidents happen, like, within so many miles of the home or whatever. So, um, <laughs> maybe retract, maybe retract that a little. Um, um, but if the world ends, like, everyone's gone, you know, like, there's, there's, there's no one left behind to, to miss me and be sad. And, you know, I would, I would hate to, you know, especially, like, my mom, my sister, you know, like, my family, like, my friends who would miss me, you know. Every fucking body, because I'm motherfucking amazing. You know what I'm saying? The world would miss me, I'm sure. Mingxi would move on. She doesn't give a shit. She'd replace me in five seconds, wouldn't you? Didn't deny it. So, you know, like... Yeah. I, so, if, if the world ending is, I guess, different than, you know... Because hopefully we'd all go to a place together. Who knows? Uh... Some of us might be burning more than others, maybe. <laughs> some of us are burning and some of us are playing harps. Who knows? Who knows? But, uh, so yeah, I don't necessarily know that there's any regrets what I would leave behind. Um, what I never got a chance to do or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I have things that I'd like to do, like travel to all 50 states. I mean, you know, going, Sean and I talk about going to Japan, uh, you know, I've, like I've never been to Ireland, uh, like Australia, the UK, like I don't care. I go anywhere, travel any fucking where. At one point, Sean was talking about going to uh, Iceland to try to see the, the Northern Lights. Of course, you know, we saw them here in Missouri, apparently a couple weeks ago or something. Uh, not apparently. I mean, Facebook was filled with pictures of them. So, um, but yeah, it's like, I travel fucking anywhere, you know. Um, kind of forgot what my point was with that, but, uh, oh, I guess I was saying that, like, I have things that I would like to do, things that would be fun, you know, to go anywhere, but it's like, I don't, I'm not rich. <laughs> like, I don't have the money to travel all the time. I'm not like, you know, like a world famous pop star or something. 
I should be, but I'm not. You know, like, I'm not traveling all these places to do all these shows, to, you know, do, do it like a tour or anything. Like, <clears throat> I work a shitty retail job, you know, <laughs> and a, maybe a shitty government job for right now, for part-time, you know, uh, one of these days, maybe those bills will be caught up. I don't know. <laughs> Are those loans paid off? <sighs> maybe. Um, yeah, so, I mean, there's things that I would like to do in life, but I don't expect them to ever happen. You know, I don't expect to actually ever, like, go to Japan or any... I mean, it would be nice if it were to happen, but I don't, you know... I don't expect it to happen. So it's like, I mean... Like, I'm already not expecting to all these things to happen anyway, so it's like, I mean, if the world ends tomorrow without them being done, then it's like, all right, well, that's par for the course, I guess. <laughs> like, it's not, it's like, all right, I wasn't going to get to do it anyway, so fuck it, you know. But if I was a ghost, you know, if, if, if we didn't just get zapped out of existence, if we, if we, if we were ghosts, if we were spirits... Well, I guess unless it's like the, you know, the TV show Ghosts, and they're, they're tied to the, you know, they're tied to the property, whatever. Uh, they, they stay where they die, whatever. It's kind of like, I mean, if I was a ghost and I could travel anywhere I wanted, I'd go to Ireland. Not, I mean, it, it would be apparently like, you know, a brazen landscape or whatever, or a raised landscape? Brazen? I don't know. Um... <laughs> Had to put up with all the other fucking ghosts. It's like, hey, we can go to, we can go to anywhere we want now. So, you know, it's still putting up with people, putting up with crowds, just every all the fucking dead assholes. <laughs> but anyway, so I don't feel like to recap. I don't feel like I have a really good answer to this question. Just silly ones. Silly nannies. But uh, other than that, I guess uh, that wasted enough time. Uh, St Sean still shouldn't be here for another hour and a half, two hours maybe. I don't really know if there's anything. I guess I can put this shit away in case he wants to sit there, but usually he sits over on that side. So, Good. well, usually I have shit here, so <laughs> he can't. I've already taken out the trash, so or some of the trash anyway trash, I guess, that I'm going to worry about is taken out. Um, it made me take a nap. Oh, my Jesus. Goodness, Jesus. Ha, 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 ha. We shall see. But anyway, that's that. Um, I will try to do today's question, or tomorrow's question, I guess, early, maybe after Sean goes to bed, if I'm awake at some point at midnight. So it might be like ASMR. I might have to whisper like. I don't. Know. I think I said something about putting it in. I just... possibly. It's to be expected, I suppose. I'll see you for what I see. You.